The view panel or viewport is where you can see and work with the objects in your scene. By default, a single view panel with the perspective camera takes up the workspace, but you can easily change to different layouts. You can tap the space bar to toggle between a single panel and the previous layout. You can also move your mouse cursor over any panel and press the space bar to have that one take up the full view. And if you want the view panel to take up the whole screen for ultimate viewing real estate, press Ctrl plus space bar. If you don't want to display the panel's toolbar, press Ctrl plus shift plus M. The default camera gives a perspective view. As compared to the ortho cameras that show a view from a camera that is orthogonal to a specific plane. The camera's name is displayed at the bottom of the view panel. The default cameras are actual cameras whose icons you can show or hide by toggling cameras from the show menu. You can also select the cameras in the outliner and open their attributes by clicking this icon in the view panel. For example, you can set up these attributes in the perspective camera to customize it as you like for viewing. You can do a hardware or software render from the default cameras, or create a play blast for previewing the animation. However, for animating the camera and rendering your scene, you need to create custom camera rigs from the Create Camera menu. Only the Active View panel is updated during animation playback. The Active View panel is the last one in which you clicked. To change this, open the Preferences window for the Time Slider. Change the Update View option from Active to All so that all view panels are updated during playback. You can decide which elements to display in the view panel itself. You can set the defaults for these elements in the Preferences window on the Display page. You can toggle the display of the View Axis, the Origin Axis, the Grid, and the Background Gradient. Press Alt plus B to quickly toggle among the gradient and the three default background colors. You can change their colors in the Color Settings window. In the 3D Views section, you can set the current background color or the background gradient top and bottom colors. You can toggle the display of the view elements from the Show menu in each view panel. You can toggle the Grid Display here, or click its icon in the Panel toolbar. If you want to toggle the display of the grid for all view panels, choose Display Grid. To set up how the grid looks, open its Options box. Make sure to click Apply each time you make a change to see it. The HUD option toggles the display of the different heads-up display options. You can select which options to include in the HUD from the Display Heads-up Display menu. Press Ctrl to keep this menu open as you select multiple options from it. In the Color Settings window, you can change the colors of the heads-up display text. 